Mark was a very caring, a very compassionate man in life, and his generosity and kindness had no bounds. He was my life for 31 years, and he was my passion. He was in an intensive care situation. Mark had suffered a spontaneous, catastrophic brain bleed. I would say that it certainly gave me pride and joy knowing that I could honour what Mark wanted. We talked about organ donation many times, knowing that that's what he would have wanted, certainly, yeah, makes it feel better. If better is the right word, I don't think any word is the right word, is it really, in them circumstances, but I would certainly say that it made me feel, yeah, better knowing that I knew his decision. The specialist nurse was, uh, yeah, a very, uh, very nice man, very caring man, um, and so we just went through the questions and he did confirm to me that everything within Mark's uh, body could be used for organ donation and he read out a list and it's quite an amazing list when somebody tells you and reels off a whole series of organs and tissue that can be used to help other people. Yeah, and he did say I could ask questions. He didn't make me feel rushed. He didn't pressure me into making a decision because I'd already made the decision. Um, but I could ask questions and I do remember saying to him, uh, can you just make sure none of his organs go to a Chelsea or an Arsenal supporter? Mark was a Tottenham fan and I don't think he'd appreciate that. And the specialist nurse, bless him, he just went, uh, there isn't a place on my phone for that. I went, it's okay. I was quite comforted by the fact that the donor nurse did stay with him all the time until he'd gone to the mortuary. He rung me to tell me the procedure was starting and then he rung me to tell me the procedure had finished. Um, I think at that time I was just thinking all those organs that are going to be used, all those potential recipients who could have been waiting a long time to get this phone call, uh, they could have had their bags packed for weeks, for days, for months, for years even. And I just thought, gosh, this process is taking place now. They're probably there at their hospital being prepped to receive this organ. And that's quite an amazing feeling to think that Mark isn't here, but is going to help people who've been waiting a long time and who've been very sick waiting for an organ. Mark has gone on to help eight people. That's just an amazing feeling to think that my decision, because I knew what he wanted and I've honoured his wishes, have gone on to help all those people. <laughs>